Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner, and this is Tornado Cube by Dmitry Polyakov and Henry Harrius. Before we do this review, can you please check out cardmagiccourse.com or by the time you watch this it may be called something else because we're changing the name but click the link below that's my online magic course with over 500 videos live weekly sessions and guest lecturers every month all uploaded to the course so every month you get at least four hours new content check it out and uh, like and subscribe did i say that don't know but if i didn't i'd do that if you like it and share it if you like this channel please tell people verbally and on the forums it'll be really really helpful for me it makes all the difference because i'm just doing this all on my own so thanks when i i saw this and i i didn't know what to think really I, i'm a juggler i love flourishy things and i love anything like this so when i saw it i thought great and then i thought what is it? Is it a magic trick? Is it a flourish? Is it a skill? Are you trying to make it look like you've got a skill? And, and then I thought, no, what, what this is, and as you saw at the beginning, it's, you spin it on your finger. It, it's one of those things when it kind of makes people think, is he doing it? And then by the time people kind of process it, they know it's a magic trick. So it's kind of something that starts off as a skill, then is a magic trick, and all maybe can be used as a gag. Not, not a gag, really, but you know, it's something, it's, it's obviously after a while, it's magic. It looks supernatural uh almost like you've got a superpower you're balancing something that's unbalanceable and it it you define gravity really so first of all what is it as you saw you put the cube on your finger and you spin it and it keeps spinning and then you catch it and then importantly you can show your hands clean afterwards uh so i think it's a very cool thing it's um it's a moment isn't it it's not an effect within itself you're not going to close with it but what Henry Harrius does in the download, he says you can open with it when you're doing things like Venom Cube because it fits in with all his, his other routines. Or you can do it as just a social media thing like I did. I put it on social media and it got a really good response. Uh, and it's just, I just think it comes under that kind of title of very cool things to do with a Rubik's Cube. It's a little bit like, you know, the Greg Wilson, is it Revolution it was called? It might, or Revolver, which was the one where you span a deck of cards. It's a similar kind of thing. And this is uh, Dmitry Polykov that's come up with this. And obviously Henry Harris has helped with the development of it. So first of all, is it easy? When I saw this, I kind of, I had an idea what was going on, but there's a lot more to it than you think. There is a gimmick involved in this, and there is some doctoring of a cube, of an existing cube. So you're going to need your kind of Henry Harris, um, uh, what, are they, what are they called, the cubes? Oh, RD cube, is it? I don't know, one of these cubes anyway, I'll, I'll correct that. But So that's what you're going to have, because you have to doctor that. So I think that's important to know. Arguably, you could put this on a normal cube, but it might look out of place sizing-wise. So it's, it's going to have to be one of those cubes. So that's really important. And you're going to have to doctor it. Now, that's really, really easy. He talks you through this. And I was thinking, is this going to be a real pain? But you can do it in minutes, and it's absolutely sorted. And importantly, he gives you everything you need to do it, other than the cube itself. And the cubes are really, really inexpensive. So I think they're like seven quid or something like that. So uh, worth getting one anyway. So the, it's easy to put together. Again, there's a little bit of a moment of work in it, but not much at all. And once you're set up, you're set up. You do get two of the gimmicks with it that go on the cube. So you can put it onto a couple of different cubes, or you could arguably put two on the same cube. Uh, so that's fine. And then you get this other gimmick with it that allows you to do it, which is actually really well designed. He talks about palming in this it's not really palming it's more holding it's really easy you've got there's no skill to how you hold it and he's designed it to fit really well in the hands i'm pretty sure i'm okay in saying this on this review and he's designed it to be adjustable as well for different hand sizes so there's no problem there i don't think anybody's really going to have a problem getting the gimmick into play and importantly getting it out of play they thought of a couple of things within the bag you get it in and they go through certain ways of clearing up a couple of really easy ones and, and some are that require there's one that requires lapping but really really easy because you've got the misdirection of the cube again the most difficult of all of these is probably the lapping one but it's it's simple and Dimitri himself gives you a couple of ways to clean up that are really easy quite bold but not really skilled this isn't a sleight of hand thing I would say the most difficult thing with this is making it look convincing at the beginning so i tried it, it's that thing of you know there's that old gag in um 
in street performing that a lot of a few of my friends did, which I love, where you where you you throw, you're juggling ping pong balls and you throw one up and you catch it balanced on your nose and you're kind of holding it like that. And then you put your head up like that and it's, it's stuck to your nose. It's such a lovely gag. It's a lovely moment. A lot of people do it and it's great. But you've got the, the way the gag works is you convince them that you're kind of, you're balancing it and then, and then you're not. And it's brilliant. It's just such a lovely image. And I think with this, the, the key to making, to sort of taking people down that garden path is to, is to really sell that balance. And see, on the thing I did, I'm not saying I did it very well, but I kind of did a couple of fake balances and then it, it, it kind of took and then get that realisation later. So I think you've got to act this a little bit. I think with this, you would be in danger of just putting it on there and making it look very obvious that you're putting it sort of into position rather than trying to balance it. So there's a little bit of acting work there. And actually getting this into position in one way is incredibly easy, but it's the bit I find hardest to get straight away. I have to kind of f sort of faff about a little bit. And that's the practice, really. That's the only practice you're going to do is just get it into play. And after a while, it does become a little bit easier. But again, nothing really difficult. And my feeling is that this wouldn't be a problem if you were performing it live, because people are seeing it live and they're caught up in the moment. But if you're doing it on social media, I think you're going to have to think about that, because under scrutiny, and even the one I did under scrutiny, you're going to look at it and go, maybe if you watch it a couple of times, you go, all oh, right, something's happening there. So to not make it look like it's kind of held in position is going to be the main kind of challenge of this. But again, I'm saying that knowing that it's most people are going to be able to deal with that. It's well made. It's going to last you. You're not going to be able to have to buy replacements very quickly for this. And the only other thing I think is angles. It's not angle -y. Like You can hold it like that and sort of people in front of you in a normal situation. But if you had people behind you, arguably you'd have to bring it down and, and, and kind of play with angles a little bit. But again, nothing that's a major problem. With that, there's another bit where you kind of throw the cube in the air and catch it. I think that's the other thing that's going to take a bit of practice. It's very easy, but it's easy to sort of throw it and nothing to happen. And then you look a bit silly because it totally gives a game way. So again, there's some sort of practice and rehearsal in there. But other than that, super easy, very cool, not difficult, a well-made prop and something that I think a lot of people are going to have a lot of fun playing with. I really did. I really enjoyed learning this and playing with it. And I really, really like it. But I think it's for people who do stuff with a cube in an, or do existing things with a cube. You already have stuff you do with a cube, so you can add it to that. Or people who just want to add this to their social media stuff to make something really cool. Uh, and I think it does look very, very cool in that context as well. So really like it. Nothing really negative to say about it. Loads of fun. And uh, if you like the effect, you're going to be able to do it. So, uh, so check it out. Please do check out the links below. Thank you to Henry Harris for sending this to me. It is very much appreciated. And uh, any questions you want, put them in the comments and we'll answer them on the next Comments on Comments session, which is most Thursdays at five o'clock. Please like and subscribe. Check out cardmagiccourse.com or whatever it's going to be called by now. But that will get you through to it anyway uh, for my online magic course. Take care. Have a good one. See ya.